So here's what we're looking at today. It's a Tesla Cyber Quad that did not have a motor controller in it and started tinkering with it to see if we could get this back up running. So I did a little bit of research through a couple different places and I found a pretty good fit from uh, it's electricscooterparts.com on this model of motor controller. It's an SBD 365-00R. It's got reverse functions on it. It's for a 500 watt motor, so it's plenty big. And I was pretty confident that it was going to work. So, waited on it and uh, we got it in. I tested it out, started matching up and tracing out where the wiring was on the cyber quad and had pretty good success with it. I did have to tweak it a little bit to get it to work. So, you'll see up here on the forward and reverse, uh, it's backwards. I could probably fix it, but I'm not going to. And then I had to have an on-off switch. So the on-off switch that comes on here is just a temporary push button. And uh, I was afraid that the previous motor controller uh, would have been programmed for that. And uh, it looked like this motor controller was set up for a constant on actual switch. So I modified it and the speed switch on here, it's actually just a single pulse switch and on-off switch. So I use that and as you can see, it is also upside down kind of backwards so i've labeled it <laughs> so we know what's going on with it but it works and it shuts it off um the only other ones that i had that didn't really match up the way that i thought the front light i ended up wiring to the power indicator connector and the front light is the yellow and black it is a two wire which i will show you that is this little fella right here. If you trace this wire out all the way up into the front, it goes up to our front LED light bar here. And so I hooked that up to the red and black. You'll see on here, I've got black to black and yellow to red. Now, unfortunately, I was looking at these connectors and you actually have two red and black connectors. You've got this one here and this one here as well. And they're both, if you look at them, deep down in here. I don't know if you can see that well. That's a female connector. And this one's also a female. So I went back to our wiring diagram and as you can see, we've got a female connector here and we also have for the battery charger, it looks like it's a red and black. So I just picked one because it's not labeled on there which one is which and it worked. Um, I'm assuming if you hook it up to the one that is the battery charger, which is incorrect, it's just not going to come on. It shouldn't damage anything, I wouldn't think. Um, but you can just unplug it and put it back into here. Now, if you look at the uh, listing through uh, this company, which I am not paid by them in any shape, fashion, or form. It just worked out really well. But if you look at electric scooter parts um, listing, it'll tell you which connector you need. So you'll need a bunch of CNX 51s. 52s and I think 50s. Yeah, the 50s are the big ones and that's for uh, your motor connections and your power connections. The other issue that I had with this, um, with not having the motor controller for it, was that I wanted to use the stock battery. So I looked at a few different options and there's a lot of people out there that go about using different batteries and things, but I had the battery and it works. So, but as you can see, it's got two little tabs. Let me see if I can get a better picture of this for you. It's got, this is your charging port right here. And then here you've got two tabs right there and right there that actually connect in when you slam it into the back of the cyber quad. So that is what is called a battery discharge connector. Now that's a pretty common part. Most modern vehicles, electric vehicles, scooters, and things that use a lithium ion battery uh, use a battery discharge connector because most of them have some kind of proprietary battery that's just gonna go in there. Uh, the older style that use 12 volt batteries, they have uh, just tr traditional connectors on your 12 volts, hooking them up in series to get the 36 volts out of there. But long story short, uh, you can look around um, to find some battery discharge connectors. A little bit of modification. Uh, I was able to retrofit this one to work with the Dremel tool in about five minutes. So using all the stock parts and it just clicks right back in there very well. So I will show that this thing is working. Great. 
So, we're gonna turn it off. Batteries in there, right? This is not gonna do anything. Also, it did not hook up the back light yet. I might mess around with that here a little bit, but I wasn't too worried about it. So we turn it on, nothing's happening. We're good to go. Front light, as you can see, it's on, it's bright. And then, da -da -da -da, we're gonna put it in reverse. She takes off. Put it in forward, which again, this is backwards, and she's working. I did not hook up any other options on here. Uh, there were some cables that I just, quite frankly, didn't look into, didn't investigate, didn't know what they were for. Um, I just don't think you need them. So, the ones that I did use, of course, the power connection, it's pretty obvious. That goes back to your battery. Your motor connection is a big cable. It's actually got two cables that are inside of it, and I did not use smaller cable in there so this right here if you can see this one it's got some heat shrink over the top and you've got a black and red in there that's actually going down your motor and it's got a secondary cable in here it's got two leads on it I don't know if that's for overheating or something to do with the speed I don't know I didn't use it not worried about it it works uh, what else did I use the throttle connection you got two cables in there that look like that for the throttle cable and I picked one I got lucky and it worked so there are two and they look like this what's that black red blue connector in there so there's two of them that come out of the front over here like I said I just picked one here you go I picked this one and that's your black red blue not this one this belt here you see how it's hooked up and uh yeah i uh, hooked it up and it worked so you know if it doesn't work try the other connector now that being said uh, i think they had opposite male and female connectors so this one that i'm not using if you look at that that is a female connector it does not have the prongs on it so i must have cut off the uh, male connector and used that one I might even have a part laying around here somewhere but yeah, so I cut off the mail, used that one. Um, the key or power switch, uh, yeah. That's the one that I used the uh, speed selector switch for. I did not hook up anything to the speed selector switch here. I don't need it to do five miles an hour. I don't care. So we're just gonna have full speed on it. Uh, the reverse switch, that made it right up. Um, like I said, it's backwards though. I could probably just internally mount that switch backwards, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, the brake switch, I uh, didn't look into it, not worried about it. The brake light connector, I might do that here in a minute, actually, and I'll probably just, yeah, I don't know if that's gonna turn on it if I don't have the brake light switch hooked up. So I might just hook it up to the power light or the uh, power indicator, we'll see. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I got going on with it. Uh, you know, it seems like most of these parts are replaceable. The motor on the backside, this is a very common part. These were all over Amazon. Uh, there's a lot of different controllers that operate for them. You can get different voltages for them, different wattages, and they're all very, very similar. So, I mean, these are a very common motor. If it goes out, you can replace it. Most of these other parts, I think, are pretty replaceable. These bolts seem to break quite a bit. Um, so I've found some decent, like grade eight bolts that seem to be working fairly well. Uh, gotten pretty good usage out of it. Everything else seems to be holding up pretty well. I mean, it's not a bad product, looks like. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to comment and uh, I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.